Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Tonight I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Blake from Blake Goes Face. You. Um, this one is probably going to be a discussion. We're not really going to talk about our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, We're on holidays right now. Yeah. So Somewhere else in the world. We aren't here. We are doing a bit of pre-recorded footage just to, just <gasps> to keep this going. the illusion. I've blown the illusion. This is a pre-recorded podcast episode, so no news... <laughs> I mean, no to be fair, all of them are pre-recorded. Actually, but <laughs> this is pre-pre-recorded. If it was pre-pre-recorded, how crazy was the ban list? Oh yeah, my god, bro, that, that card! List. Oh my god, last year's Hartford. Who would have thought that? One last year. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Who Man, would have it? Some did oh, really bro. well. <laughs> Incredibly well, especially after. <laughs> they couldn't eat. <laughs> and when that guy cheated, That's not... <laughs> in, in round. <laughs> when the guy cheated on camera, like very that safe was pretty assumption. Ballsy. Very safe assumption. <laughs> I can't believe that judge got tried for As pedophilia. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a Smash tournament. Relax. Oh, sorry, I got those two mixed up. Yeah, it happens. Oh, I can't remember the name of the Mystic My Player. I lost he was my playing joke. trick stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, our question that we're going to be primarily focusing on uh, comes to us uh, from a long time watcher of the channel, Drew D. Um, it also comes to us from several months ago, so apologies for not getting to this sooner. He Sorry, emailed Drew. it. It's okay. No one checks the email. I don't yeah. have access to it. You don't have access to it. You don't have access to it. Exactly. Yes. Just Discord, Discord, and um, other no, social media. Email's fine. It makes comments. It makes it important. Yes, it's and to reiterate, I definitely don't have access to the email that Ben speaks of. Jake doesn't check any emails. Doesn't happen. I only check work once. Anywho, uh, so a question from D- Drew D asks, Hey guys, I saw Master Duel came out out of nowhere from what I understand, and so I figured I'd check it out, and despite looking like a copy-paste of MG- MGT Arena with a few bells and whistles added, no, which is true. good even though Yu-Gi-Oh players are seemingly losing their shit when Arena has been out for like three years, I simply have one question. Why the hell does Konami seemingly flat out refuse to make a digital version of the paper game? Every digital game has uh, they have released, from Duel Links all the way back to Forbidden Memories on the original PlayStation, has been some altered version of the game that's not how the game is actually played. I know they have the ability to do it, so why the hell do they just seemingly refuse to? I'm sure you guys will love a digital version when you could test your paper decks in full matches prior to events the way you can on MGTO. Eh? Oh no! Online. Oh, that's a different one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can't think of a reason as to why they do this every time. Konami is really good at getting me excited for all of about ten minutes, and then they punch me right in the balls five minutes after looking at the game. And Lachlan said he's glad you're still around, Drew. Yes. So, my yes. Ki- my issue with Go. this. So, from my perspective, mm. the reason that Konami doesn't do a clone copy of the paper card game is that Konami has always been scared that that would kill the card game. Now, we say that MTG Online, or I don't say that MTG Online slash Arena is this bastion of perfect card game, because that killed most locals when COVID Mm -hmm. happened. People just didn't go back. There was, for example, at our locals, uh, there was a great period of time where we had F&M and you have Tuesday Night Morden. Tuesday Night Morden just didn't exist. It come back probably 10, 12 weeks ago, but it was gone for two years because everyone was just like, I'm just going to not go to locals. So why would I do that? Hmm. Um, yeah, that's probably the biggest reason as to why I feel as though Konami go isn't to going to be doing it. It's because they're scared that doing a direct copy will kill the physical card game. Yeah, and I've said this from the start as well, that they've clearly designed it in such a way that it's enough for people to be able to play decks that they're familiar with as yeah. opposed to like Duel Links and stuff like that where it went like right back and yeah. then has only just started now getting to somewhat of like a more modern thing um, but still within a point where like oh if you want to play the cards that you play with all the time like the decks you really really like the decks that are new you still have to buy into the physical game so from, and from what I understand, Magic is starting to pick up again, but they went through a heavy period of like having to do super cheap reprints, super availability, almost like a Pokemon level of like, here's all the shit you want to mm. be able to get people back into the game. Um, they also, unfortunately, they, it was like a triple threat of arse because the format was really bad. COVID happened. 
and Arena was just pumping out stuff like No Tomorrow. So there was like very little incentive. There was there was no reason at all to play the game. Um, and then what happens is when there aren't F and M's, there aren't people buying cards, which means more of a problem. There aren't people trading in cards, so then that nobody can get cards for standard, which means nobody wants to play standard. It was like four things that just couldn't happen. I do remember seeing back, like back when all of this started, was that a couple of Magic execs just didn't care because they were like, "We make money." Well, if the card shop closes down, why do we give a fuck? People are just going to be playing Magic online. And giving us money there. Yeah. If we can have just pods running on a Friday night where everyone logs in to Friday Night Magic Mm -hmm. and it just pods you off with people in your area, that's the way they want the game to function. Fuck the middleman. They make 100% of the profit if you're buying direct through MTG Online. And and there's no cut for distribution. There's no cut for printing. There's no cut for LGS. It is all you. Yes. It is like... That really triggers me that they've, like, needed these people to be able to distribute their products for ages. But then the second there's a bit of turmoil, Ah. they're like, uh, that... I fail to see how that's our problem. Yeah. But but in in the backside of that, they had worlds during COVID and we didn't. Yeah. And unfortunately, um, what is a good point here... We have here, Duel Links worlds. Yes, which is fun Ooh. to watch. Um, but it's... it's a, that's right, we did watch it, didn't we? Yes, <laughs> yes. we did watch it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, There's all the worlds to watch. Do you think then... Obviously, Master Duel and Duel Links is much more popular than these applications, but we do have Duel Link Book, YGO Pro, and they've got yeah. all this stuff that has come out due to a lack of um, having a direct rip of the physical card game. I don't think that... I, I'm not going to say, well, well, these exist, so it would be fine if they did it. I don't think that's the case. But Rather, interestingly, on that point as well, of having those other alternatives, when we saw the, that like kind of abomination of a game release on Xbox One and PS4 mm, that wasn't uh, Link Evolution, the one before it, Yeah. when that released... Correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of cease and desist got thrown around for those online yeah, yeah. sites. Yes, they did. It was like a, a spree of it was a spree of just like ba 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 ba. Yeah, yeah. It's so interesting to see that. now that Master Duel has come out, we haven't seen another wave of cease and desists flow through to all yeah. these I, places. W- I mean, I can. We need to get somebody who knows law, but I'm fairly certain there's an argument to be made about if they aren't making any money or it's not clear that they're making any money from those applications, the most they can do is kind of say, oi, we will do this. And m- normally from Konami, that's enough to make people go, yeah, yeah we're good, we're good, we're good. But I don't know if it was, uh, not like they get, care about backlash, but I'm shocked that like Omega still exists, that, that literally we had Dueling Network get completely shut down and yeah. then they went, we reskinned it. Book. We waited three months. And went. Book. Here's a reskin. Yes, we had a data breach along the way. Yeah. But it's fine. Um, it, that was the dumbest thing where they were like, it's okay, guys. We're just going to port over all of your logons. Oh, the people we trusted to do that weren't the most trustworthy people. I lost a good password to that. Okay. I, yeah, I lost a good password to that too. Um, but uh, the thing that I think they should consider is they make a lot of money this way. And. Yeah. Yes, they might be scared to kill the physical car game, but things happen, and we've spoken about this in the last couple of months. Things happen like COVID or like issues in Europe. And things happen that you need sometimes an online platform for people to have access to your game, and you don't want to cut out people that might not have an LGS, might not live in a place where LGS is possible. You want those people to be able to play your game as is and as functions at current time. So I think it would be... I think Master could become that, but I don't think they're going to. The other thing that I've thought about with this as well is that they're... Seem, like, because at the very beginning, it was like, obviously, that sort of amalgamated list stuff hadn't been updated, whatever, whatever. whatever. But the other thing is, too, is that it was sort of incorporating cards that people were familiar with, a format that people could get involved with, as opposed to jumping right into the clusterfuck that we have at the moment. Hmm. And what it did was bring a lot of people from, like, ex-players, basically. They came back to Master Duel because that was their way in. They super low investment. Like, realistically, you could, you could quite happily pay not a dollar. For for, oh, yeah. yeah. For, for... Any one deck. You got one yeah. choice, and it was free. Yeah, exactly. So you could happily go in there. You could just duel with your friends, even. You don't have to do ladder. You can just do yeah. solo mode as well. So I think it's an... 
I feel like it's just a good way for like players that like to play casually to go on, do their thing. And maybe it's their thought that after they've got to that and with the slow sort of introduction of the newer sets that people sort of get used to that kind of stuff and that maybe they get back into the physical Pipe car game. Yeah, yeah I, I think that's their thing. And that, from what I understand, that was their same idea with Speed Duel. It's a similar idea with Duel Links as yeah. well. There's that, although it's a thing that people can do independently, it is of the idea that they still get involved in the bigger game. Yeah. It's something also that I've kind of thought of about this is, yes, Konami doesn't want to kill off the physical card game. This provides a healthy alternative to playing the physical card game. But when we when it first got announced on Konami's end, they were like, yep, we'll have OCG, TCG formats. You can play what you like. After the game's release, we have the interview with the developer, at which point the developer says we have no intention of splitting it from OCG to TCG. Do you reckon that that is a decision on their part where they physically could not get the game working in a double region? Or do you reckon that it's them again coming back to the we can't kill the card game, let's provide this as a healthy alternative, or do we go the other way with it? I think... I'm going to be careful because I want to make... Um, I'm pretty sure you could pay good networkers for like a month and a half. To get it done. Yes, yeah. but then there is other stuff where, like, do they want to do that? Do they want to split their player base in, in half or, like, have OCG yeah. and TC? Would they have liked everybody on all at once playing an amalgamator for? Is that kind of what they wanted? Because then they get really big numbers. It's really easy to sell. Like, maybe that's what they wanted. Also, just on your point before, because I have this... Uh, my, it might be a ma micro view on it. But when you say, like, especially X players coming back, I hear so often, especially about Yu Gi Oh! in particular, that Yu Gi Oh! is a choice of game for a lot of people because I can play the old decks because no rotation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. That, yeah. That's in my micro view, though. I don't know a single person that has ever done that, except one Lawrence Mew. <laughs> Other than him, and maybe Jesse when he wants to jump back on Cyber Dragon. What did you play when you started playing Master? Nothing. I didn't start playing Master Duel. Where's this man build his clear deck at? Oh, I built it for the uh, YouTube video. I didn't play it. It Why was, it was pure, video? It was, pu it was purely for the. It was purely for the, the, the deck YouTube list. Video. Yeah, this I tested it out a little a bit. But, yeah, I tested yeah. it out, but I, I tested it out. But that was it. Um, but yeah, that, that's exactly my point, though. Is that I was like, oh, I can build an old deck. This isn't good. This isn't fun. Oh yeah, that's no, that's good. that's just blatantly you. That's, that's yeah, power that, creep but, in a vacuum. That's, yes. that's essentially the reason why we don't have rotation, is because we have a sustainable, controllable power creep. It's just... But, different video. But I don't understand why, when we have a ban list, we need power creep. There's a ban list there, use it. You can control well, the power of your game. Balance. I would say that there are decks from the past that are better than our current format. Like, that's just obvious. If The ban list is designed to check rapid power. So if you end, you're you're sitting here like, the anomaly is 2016-2017. Sure, that that happened. That happened. You, you're trekking along, you have Pepe, we hit everything, and then we kind of enter this nine-month format where everything's good, there's no need for a ban list. Then it's Power nice. Creep comes in, we hit Zoo. Then all of a sudden Power Creep is too, high out, too far out of it, chop it down. We have a ban list, slows Power Creep, then we kind of end it, sit on a new ceiling, and then we hit Spiral again. Mm. It goes up. And now we're just kind of in that kind of link, derivative, spam everything kind of mode. But at the moment, everything's kind of just okay. It's fine. You could bring back full power spiral and that would again kick that power creep, but it would be doesn't there. exist. And I also think that, that it would be a cool thing to use Master Duel for. Alternate formats or like yeah. old format or like no. getting people... Again, if... I don't know how... I say this, I'm not sure how much I would play it. But having a GOAT format or something like this on Master Duel, it would be, again, there is a there is a conversation to be had about splitting your player base. I know that um, in terms of an online game, it was League or it was one of the big hitters made a game mode, a separate game mode that was so fun that it destroyed their online uh, World player of Warcraft. base. World of Warcraft Classic. Oh, oh that's a great example as well. Yeah. Um, uh, but what... But, it was a it was a um, a timed event, and when uh, that timed event okay. went, they didn't see people come back. They saw people leave. 
Yeah. So I don't know if Goat or something like this would be something they want to split players with, but I, I do think you attract people just the, for the sake of it. The funny thing is, when you discuss something like that, you think this is exactly what classic Yu-Gi-Oh fans forever need. Yes, They yes. need a game that they can go and play. They, it's but a they all of... suck at Yu-Gi-Oh! And if you gave them both from that, everyone would go back and destroy them. And they'd be like, I like old school Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's like, dude, we're playing 2005, go fuck yourself. But, or it... they need the no Pendulum, no XC, no Link, no... No Relinquished, no, no Fusion format. Uh, no... And then they could just all sit in that... that... Just, just an idea that I've just had. Rather than like create a whole festival thing like bringing goat format do it for two weeks whatever they do get rid of it and then have people go but I want to show an experience um why not just they make it get a, to. they won't get to why don't they just make it a solo mode so and if you could gauge the interest I guess and why? then from there I guess it would limit your deck creativity um that's a thing yeah so there's that because you wouldn't be able to build the deck for solo mode oh no because I wouldn't be able to play anything other than the best deck of the format. The people that play, like, Empty Jar and shit in GOAT and all that other garbage, bin. bin. Fuck those idiots. Play Chaos or play uh, Control. In the what they of do need to do is probably turn around and say, A, first off, you can craft any card that's banned. Sure, why not? For half you gems. You can't use it. Or Just half whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, like, five gets you a pot of greed. Yeah. You can only use it in these previous formats, but you can have physically start constructing your deck for previous formats. Then when they introduce this kind of stuff, it's there. You can go into solo modes, you can just put no ban list or whatever you want, you can set your ban list. That'd be good. Something that doesn't exist at the moment though. We can't craft banned cards. Yeah. And it's but and yeah. just on that as well, I feel like it's definitely something that they could like it's definitely something they could do like they have the ability to do it but i mean like it's definitely something i reckon they would consider if there was enough voices behind it because the one thing that i will give them credit for well there's quite a bit to give them credit for to be fair one main thing i would give them credit for is that they have listened to the players at every point oh in master Duel in particular yeah I see that's what i mean yes. in master Duel in particular yes. they've listened to the players at every point that they have oh we're getting a new ban list again aren't we yeah. Okay. They're That's getting fine, like they're updating the ban lists at well, this one's coming at the end of this month, or like, yeah. the start of June. Like they've like integrated the formats that people want to see. They've upped the gem count where people want to see the up the gem count. They made a new rank when people were saying I don't have enough to play for. Yeah. I want to do more. Um, they've added more solo gates because people really like solo gates. And that and I said this before when we first discussed <coughs> it in the interview. Um, that you mentioned before that like they were like oh we didn't really consider solar gates at the first bit and then we just decided to whack them in solar and, gates is yeah, like um, my second favorite thing yeah that, and that's... when you mentioned it earlier i was gonna turn to the camera and be like this is because jake only plays solo i don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mind that to be solo. fair i i the gates in um duel links weren't terrible either can like, you get it timed out in master duel solo modes no i might play that at work then um <laughs> I, I have some well, you're just gonna ftk the fucking ai oh well, yeah <laughs> He's got to practice. Oh yeah. Oh, how can um, I count? I want to. I want to bounce something just because I can't work out. You have so much more experience on Master Duel, so I'm curious. The solution I thought of then was to do how weird, but a lot of community-driven games that go on beyond their lifespan, like even after uh, shooters and stuff die, the way they retain community is just letting the people go. I'll make a room with these rules do a thing and yeah. to let the community be like here's goat format here's it has to start with being able to craft band cards but here's if i want to do 2015 format whatever and make those rooms for people to play my yeah. question is then why is it so important to them that people play their ladder or people play that is, is it that important or is it just that they're in the game building decks and make earning gems and buying pack could they just go I, I here's the community that. That like would build be it yourself. Guess. Build it yourself. And if it's popular, if goat's popular, make a goat tawny yourself. Build a room, and if it's hyper popular, we can give you actual support, maybe or like. Yeah. I'm gonna quickly go and grab a drink of water. Yeah. I'll be. I'll be pausing. No, just keep talking. Yeah. Okay. That that so, would that would be my solution because Battlefield does like, like they they let people dick around in their own uh, rule sets and it keeps the game alive. Yeah, so I guess the other thing to consider with all of this as well is like we're asking for all of these things and like I said, they're integrating them as they go. The game's barely six months old. Not even. Mm. So 
like these could be things that they already have in development that I they're already considering so. yeah, that they're already yeah. talking at their meetings about but because society in general and particularly fucking people of our generation is just like no now give it yeah, to yeah, me yeah, now they, every week because it's the fortnight model of weekly 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 where we've moved away from that like one drop model where now we're on weekly content and like that's just the way games are being made so there was something that I did think about as well in relation to the whole like previous ban list being mm. able to cycle through doing your own lobby there isn't currently apparently this is changing soon which may adapt through to Master Duel there is currently no official Konami way to go back and do any ban list uh, absolutely true there are because when I was okay. trying to put stuff together absolutely true yeah. I had to use wiki yeah so the, like on the wiki has everything but there is no official Konami channel for you to go back and look at previous ban lists maybe they just don't want to remember they're like oh my god we brought that back yeah. snatch oh, steel I went to the same thing I was like fucking <laughs> snatch steel came back to one I'm like fucking Bob why don't we listen to Bob there is however that is changing they're, they are updating the Yu-Gi-Oh! website to have a complete list of ban lists available. That's interesting. And that is designed to be how Time Wizard works. Is that you go to the... You go to the... Sorry? Time page. You know, the Time Wizard format? No. No. The alternative Yu-Gi-Oh! format that Konami announced, where you can play locals at whatever ban list you want? No. No, never heard of this before. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. You remember when the Konami announced like those five alternate formats that they'll be officially supporting with OTS pricing? Nope. Vaguely, but okay. I don't remember it being called Time Wizard what? format. I think that's what threw me. One of them I think is Time Wizard format. And it's you pick a ban list and that's what your locals is and you can fully support it with OTS packs. Okay. So that's interesting. The theory like the current thing is Konami is updating their website, which is why if you try and view it on mobile, it looks a bit wonky now and there's a button that says click to see the current ban list. It will essentially be a menu where you can go back and view every ban list and it'll tell you what sets are legal. Yeah. And then you can deck build from there. And you'll mm, be like, locals is this this week, guys. And then you go and click it. Away you go. When that is prepared, that could possibly be something that you see ported into Master to Yeah, maybe. Maybe to, it's yeah, to maybe to it's just back. a compilation thing that they've they need the time to be able to sit mm. there and go, okay, these are the ban lists that we're going to be supporting in this. And then... It probably won't be immediate. That's the only thing that yeah. I would probably caveat it with. If they're going to be doing it IRL first, they'll probably move it to Master Duel subsequently, yeah. like in the next couple months. I yeah. was just curious to see if you guys had like a concrete thing of, no, this is why they want to keep people in the format they've made. I, like, is is there like I think a... that's solely a desire to spend money. Because if you're yeah, in the current right. format being forced to play ladder and you're losing, you are going to adapt to overcome. You want to... You want to win, so you go cool. Yeah. How can I win? Make a better deck. My blue eyes can't game. get above gold. Yeah. Why? How do I? <laughs> Why am I getting Gem Knight FTK at gold three at the moment? Yeah. Because Ben's too shit to get to plat. Hey, I'm, I'm on a winning streak. I just can't You'll be able to play. You'll get. Yeah, that's very. Yeah, I get that. Um, but it, it's interesting. I think this um, platform opens up a lot of opportunities and I will say to harken back to the question um, MTGO especially Arena does not do that it has been out for a long time the only thing they had was Historic which is a bullshit thing that barely anybody wants to play Standard which granted is the is the format but there was no modern support there is no legacy support there is no um, yeah like I said legacy um but the, the formats that people could play that they can't afford to play. Yeah. Is that still the case? Yeah. Is Modern still not in the game? Uh, they said... The only change I know that has happened with it, Arena specifically is they announced that their Pro Series will now be Pioneer, not Standard, which Pioneer is just Modern Light. And they said, we will be putting Pioneer into Arena as soon as possible. I don't know anything. That that yeah, absolutely means Arena um, uh, Modern is not in that. Because if it was, they wouldn't need to pull paint. It, it's the same number of sets, just minus a couple. Okay. Um, again, this is something that they want to keep people playing standard for a reason, or they don't. They, I'm sh- they have absolutely had the conversation of how to monetize it, why yeah. they wouldn't do it. Konami, I guarantee you, has had the same thing. Look, if we introduce introduce this, how do we monetize it? How does it look to people? How does it split the player base? But they haven't done it yet. Random sidebar, I guess, in a podcast that's kind of getting full of random sidebars here. Um, so we do, baby! At what point do you reckon Magic realised we fucked up with this whole rotation thing? Because people are always like, 
5 rotation in Magic, and it's fantastic. You ask them what they play, and they're like, my modern deck. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, so you're not playing rotation, you're just playing old Magic. Yes. Well, you're playing a format that is occasionally updates with new sets, and has a set set number of sets. Yeah. Big thing. It's almost like you don't like rotation, and you want to be playing the deck you were playing six years ago. It's 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 strange. I think it's completely. Um, de- I think it is completely dependent on like what kind of play you are, and I think unfortunately rotation only actually hits less of the percentage because there are uh, like a percentage of players I know that I go sick. My standard deck or my Pokemon deck cost me one fifty, two hundred bucks maximum, and I am good for a year, and then I play a different deck and I keep doing that. There are way more people I know that are like I play modern, and I have my modern deck, and I play just this archetype in modern and it might update by one or two cards every set and I'm happy or with Pokemon want to go back to expanded and play like Vespaquin or whatever the fuck I feel as though standard is a different thing Uh, I feel as though sorry um, expanded is a different thing for magic you don't walk into a locals and be like hey guys what expanded deck we playing today yeah but you do walk into a magic locals and they're like what commander or what what modern we playing today guys commander's the same commander doesn't rotate yeah. It's just updates with new cards and sometimes a ban list. Yeah. Hmm. That, I it guess... can be done well. It can be done well. It, I just think it's... Circling back once again to the question. Uh, something to look at in the difference between MTGO Online and something like Master Duel. Is, or or I just did, uh, did, PTCGO yeah, Online PTCGO. as well. I did touch on this earlier. Uh, and that is... We have an OCG and a TCG format. In yes. these other card games, they are a worldwide ban list. Everything works the same way, same rotation. Not Pokemon. Pokemon, yeah. It's weird. Fine. That one's just more that they get the sets earlier than we do. It functions yeah. exactly the same, right? No, because they have sets that are completely different for us. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we effectively get like combined They're even sets, more wonky. Don't we? They're even more wonky, yeah. Correct like the Dark Rise stuff is a structure deck. The they fucking... don't just out and out rotate differently to us. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I'm fairly certain they, it's the same. Yeah, I think. so yeah. they still run in the same rotation cycle as yeah. us. Whereas in Yu Gi Oh! we just have a completely then... different format. It's just, yeah. It's very different. We have, like, wildly different. And sometimes you go, well, OCG is just a prelude to what we get. That's it's, just not it, true. People it need to like stop saying that. It's not you, true. It's just wrong. Be, you just look at BA. It's right 70% of the time. It is, it is right, but to say, like, it's just. BA destroyed us for a year and a half and OCG never exist. saw it OCG never yeah. saw it and then by the time they did I think it was like super irrelevant um, yeah but it happens completely differently sometimes I suppose that's a, didn't they like, Beatrice yes they and did. then it overtook them yes they did yeah yet another example of why OCG needs to help out with the TCG archetypes on occasion because sometimes we just don't do a good job do you have yeah. a problem with Warrock not attacking in battle base I have a problem with Warrock in general. It just uh, it wasted fifteen cards of space. But it does um, attack in your opponent's battle phase, though. That's a pretty cool mechanic. It, <laughs> it is. Oh god! But look, Land. I think it would also be a cool testing ground for them. I think we could get some really cool stuff tested on um, Master Duel that like you don't know about. Especially with uh, the one thing with Magic is it, it where it benefits is it does have alternate sets that apply to both. Mon Horizons is such a hugely popular set. Mon Horizons two was so hugely popular, not in standard. So you could you could ha- like put those. You could have Master Duel products for those formats for Goat for that just sell like high rarity Goat stuff on Master Duel and just make bank. Oh, that's the other thing they could do potentially is like they've got like the legacy packs and stuff yeah. like that. Like nobody likes those, but you open them because you get them for free. I opened. I had not opened them since the day they came in. Oh, came you out. would have had so many. I opened them yesterday. <laughs> Did you pull anything good? I got a bunch of just like obscure chain burn stuff and like final countdown and shit. And I was like, is that where they're keeping this? <laughs> I think yeah, because I got a royal rare of the fusion FTK card, like the oh, okay. fire phoenix. Yeah. I got one of right. for escape, and I was like, oh yes, YCS 2016. Sick. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. Th- there's I, a lot of potential there. 100% yeah. there's a lot of potential And it's there. always, it's really hard to compare anything else to Yu-Gi-Oh! Because you can draw some comparisons between them, like sure, they're both online things, they're both like worldwide to an extent, but after that, 
there's so many different things that divide Yu-Gi-Oh from any other game that to apply the logic of one to another mm. is I mean redundant. Pokemon just like doesn't let you craft cards you just have to get codes and yeah, then trade them yeah. and people will yeah, 100% yeah. do it they that do it that keeps you playing the physical card game yes. because yeah. you're buying physical cardboard and supporting your OTS that's essentially what differentiates Pokemon like TCG Yo, however you say it from MTG Arena is that MTG Arena is like fuck local they used to Pokemon's you know what's, like yeah, oh, no so go you know, to your you know local what's store. nuts is that with Pioneer coming back we did a winner box um, the person who won went oh there's a bunch of arena codes in these packs they don't work they, they expire work. they expire oh you're kidding yeah they have an expiry so open, open the box that is Dominaria's I don't know how old um, that would be 2016 because I was playing then 2017 yeah yeah. that just didn't matter that's so AIDS yeah. yeah but yeah to circle back to that point like that's Pokemon's insurance in keeping both formats alive is like sure you can spend all but, your but money some people here. don't want to hit the physical product and they go well why can't I just play my decks online which is what Master Duel allows yeah sure but like which they can still spend money to do yeah, that if they yeah. want like there is still some investment it's not just a case of like oh well give me free stuff because I want free stuff did Pokemon change their code system though so you yes. can get any pack you're not just locked to the pack you have purchased not that I'm aware of so I couldn't that, I, for that's some reason a, I don't I feel like I got told so. that when they updated to the, the new online there's game, a new online oh my god and that yeah. is you get any pack um, instead of the pack that you've purchased and I guess that kind of rewards people for going and buying yes into the physical card game uh, which is releasing well, now well makes it a lot less limited uh, go back uh, and do what they want it's called yeah, Live, well that's right. a lot less limited in case well I don't uh, think it's a case in Pokemon where like if you bought a, a pack of um, Darkness of Blaze your code would be redundant when yeah. you went to scan it like they're all they're, as far as I know they're always live well, but it is good that like you can buy a box of the new set and you say well I don't really want anything for this thing yeah. in my current deck that I'm playing on there so I'm just going to craft some stuff from Sun and Moon or whatever remember when they started doing Duel Links codes inside of packs or inside of structure decks? that wasn't codes no 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 that's the thing though when they did like those little duel oh, links, when they, cards, yeah, 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 yeah. like they're gonna oh do duel links codes in here. <laughs> no, and it's just a link to download did. it. <laughs> yeah. So, really interesting because PCT PCTGO Lite isn't out yet. Yeah. Um. So no, the pack. So if you have packs on your account, as of right now, yep. in the old one. No, they will not transfer over, but instead your unopened items will be converted into crystals, which you can then, which will be one of the new currencies in the game at the transfer rate of the following, and then with crystals you can get stuff. So it might right. be the case of like, yeah, just generically the becoming packs in. becoming crystals, and then with those you're able to do things. Okay. So in theory then, if you've just got a bunch of codes sitting around, you just Fuck put them all in yeah, there. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. Sounds like a good idea. Could you but, see? But again, yeah, like it's like the jet, it's like the the online currency thing that you just find funnel people into getting either by paying or by going and getting your physical products or yeah. Can do you think you'd ever see Konami doing that? It's Ko Konami doing codes or Master Duel, uh, Master Duel specific like physical physical no, I product. I think not Master Duel product as such, but more so the codes and stuff stuff to like like I said I don't think it really plays into their plan because from what I can see they're wanting everyone to go to the game rather than I, going from the game to something so else given the way that Master Duel pack structure works on top of how simply easy it is to get what you need it's just not applicable I would really like to see oh, that's true. We box can craft toppers what we want. or like lot. you know how Lost Art I would like to see a Lost Art type thing where like you buy a box you get a code to get a new mate or like a that would be, that'd be cool. something like this gets like, gets people into your OTSs. Set, that'd be fine. Gets you into OTSs, buys product. They buy your physical product at your OTS, and they get a cool thing. That would be cool, actually. I'd like them to stop doing the lost arts. For one, they um, promote non -story. and two, it means that I have to keep like collecting them for the collection that I want to finish. I want you to finish them so I can stop collecting okay. them. I just Great. want a collection of the lost arts. So I reckon cosmetic oh, things to get in OTS would be sick. You could like, do it as pricing even, like yeah. even like really high end stuff. Again, people uh, people I keep talking to seem to like the mates thing and like really like the, the dynamic. I of changed it. mine for the first time and I feel bad because of that poor rescue racket. <laughs> it's okay, it's still um, alive. 
Not the last green anymore. Yeah. But, but it could, you need to could get be, yourself like, a Borolo dragon. No, he doesn't look <laughs> up at me anymore to be like, oh, we have to can this bloke. <laughs> hey, 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 we, no, what, what you need is monolith. And you go, oh, we have to can this bloke. And he just goes, <laughs> plate. <laughs> uh, but again, there's a world of opportunities there. It's just, I really want to see them. Put, I'll give you money. I'll give you money. Don't worry. I'll give you money. But Konami have seemed to be notorious for loving money, but also being really bad at making it. So, yeah, there's avenues where they could definitely get Pachinko. us to pay more money. Pachinko. <laughs> um, we were at the we were out at uh, Collies the other night, and we walked through the Poke machines, and everyone stopped because someone was like, "That says Konami on it." <laughs> yeah, they had Konami machines in there. Yeah, that's like, like oh, okay, that's why they don't care about Konami. Yeah. That's <laughs> literally why they don't care about Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, that's the reason. They well, care enough about Yu-Gi-Oh to keep it going. Yes. And that's all we need. They don't care about Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> that's the that's Jinko machines, maybe. Kojima said goodbye. Yes. Um, just to circle back as well, just on the topic of mates, I put um, the Instant Fusion pot as my mate the other day. Just expecting... Oh, don't... Ah, oh, it broke my heart. Does it I was, not go... No. So I was expecting like... A, a random fusion monster to pop out of the cup like a, a, bro, like, a like a sandwich or something and then pop back in or something like that do you know what it does? <laughs> I, I the lid flaps well. open and there's a little bit of steam comes up I was so disappointed part of the reason I feel so bad for Rescue Rabbit is I switched it for the instant fusion pot and I'm like you suck terrible. come on do, do something. something I want to just see like little like noobs that would have been imaginative at least like they've literally just looked at it like they're like what do noodles do Com- complete tangent hypothetical yes hit me Konami could one day develop when you're playing the physical card game mm-hmm. it's like a little puck that you have next to you yes and you can program a mate onto it yes and like Konami sells you mean mates. like a holographic thing yes like yes. a hologram that yes. okay so, so here's the problem with I that is that players would want that to escalate immediately and they would want to have like full street duels where they have a massive hologram of blue oh, eyes yes. come out yeah sure no no, no 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 that actually may not be what happens I think you'd just see nudity immediately <laughs> someone would be like, like oh yes I've got oh, this in my no. mate no clothes now <laughs> the magician girl thank and they have like an incognito mode when the judge is coming. They oh. press a button yeah. and th- it puts back. the clothes back on. I don't know what you. I didn't have a naughty playmat. No. I'm not getting DQ'd. <laughs> I remember that. That YCS yes, guy was getting fucking pulled out of the room by judges. Like, There's nothing wrong with my mat. It was just like straight up nude tear, and his opponent was twelve. <laughs> It's yeah, like, maybe, you, it's, maybe it's maybe it's n- maybe it's like... not just for pricing that we need to split over 18 and under 18. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, just do that. Give us money. Thank you. So, I guess to wrap this up, it could be really good. Please no, make it really we good. Have a little, I have a thought for an end discussion point. Where do you see Master Duel in a year? Exactly. The same in place. a year. The... Don't Identical. Be so, don't be so goddamn defeatist. Well, he's got to answer bitch. the question his way, so that we can answer the question in yes. a different way, okay, okay. different perspective. I think it will be. Um, there will be a lot more cards, a lot more content, and similar to Duel Links, it's not going to get any closer to what the actual card game is. It's just going to have cool stuff that you like doing that you might not have thought of right now. But it'll be Master Duel specific stuff, and you'll be doing matter and stuff. Like it'll just be its own cool little thing. I don't think we're going to get anything that promotes going to do anything except Nada or anything. Cool. I can't see them doing new formats in a year. Hmm. I reckon they could. I reckon they could start doing alternate formats. It may just be a case of they do it more so as festivals. Um, sure. As like a, yeah. a lead-in to see if there's interest. Um, obviously the solo gates seem to be really um, successful so they'll keep going on that. Um I don't know if there's a possibility of doing uh, more aesthetic changes um, or just like, I can't think of the word. Give me regional regional boards. Yeah. Let me have um, the big rock in the middle of the country, Uluru, um, on my board. No, no, they don't call it that. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. yeah. That card. card hasn't been eroded. Oh, um, Thumbs yes, down from but, me. Yeah, I, th- I think that's not a terrible summation. Like, it will just always be its own separate thing. That I don't think there's going to be any, any re- excuse me, any real overlap with the other. I could see them at some point maybe trialing a separation 
of TCG OCG. But I don't think there's enough demand for it, to be perfectly honest. The demand isn't more so splitting. The demand is more so I want to play the game that I'm playing in real life. It's not a OCG TCG thing. It's a please just let me play what I'm playing. I just want to know some birds. Soon. Until I summon frogs. (laughs) See, it's never enough for you. I just want frogs. By the time the birds are in there. I know. Uh, you know how you know a budget player. Every time we talk about frogs in the chat, I'm just going to spam that. The That's sponsor. very fair. Yeah. <laughs> the fox you for the change. Robin Hood. Do you, I feel like you've watched that movie because you knew I the have. reference. Me, absolutely, have you? absolutely. Yes, good. Yes. It's so that was the. Is it Disney? Mm, or is I'm, it? I don't actually know. I don't think. I it think is. it's one of those Disney. It's literally. The, it was the so first like, animated. It was literally the first animated movie my brain remembers. Actually, you know, I think it might be because I think it uses recycled scenes from the Jungle Book. They, it definitely does do that. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. So it's definitely a Disney movie because they definitely just like reskinned Baloo. Fifty-five percent from... of Rotten Tomatoes. You guys are fucking frauds. Um, All that fox. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a um, uh, Disney Plus. I guess coming to my final point, um, I actually do see it going through a decent summation of changes, but it's going to be incremental throughout the year. Yeah. I think we're going to see small bandless tweaks slash products catching up until eventually we become like an amalgamated solely worlds format kind of mm. thing that <gasps> occupies the I never worlds. thought of that. Yeah. It uses the worlds ban list, gives you access to the worlds ban list at any time. If you're a competitive player who's at the top of the TCG or the top of the OCG, you have a place where you can prepare for the World Championship so that it's not treated as a complete joke. Master Duel can occupy its own thing. Yes, of course, you will see those people that have just exclusively been been grinding Master Duel. They'll get rewarded for that by getting worlds next year. They will probably have their own worlds thing where top of ladder, you get an invite. That that is what I want. That is what I want. But that is not a thing that they need to do urgently like no. there is no worlds this year they just want to slowly I, bring back their yeah. their format slowly I see bring back their game an incremental yeah. thing of just adjusting and adjusting and adjusting until that's where we are yeah. yeah and these things will happen because as I said they're very good at listening to the people that tell them what they want from the game you don't tell for them what now. they want for now you don't tell them what I they want I don't have faith for the future I do think there will be a point where they go no 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 we know you don't because I do feel like at some points in this in the physical card game they have given us exactly what we wanted and we praise them for it and then for the next year they're like no I hope if they keep on that if they keep on the path they're on I, fu- I think it'll be fucking great it's like when the baby faces win at Wrestlemania yes yep. you're, like, you're like wait a minute something's wrong wait a minute they're not gonna, you they're gonna fuck us here hold on uh, when Knack won Rumble anyway um but I, I do like that they, they again, have been very on the ball with what will keep you here, what will not make our player base go whoosh, and then do the normal online game thing that goes whoosh. To be um, fair, I think it kind of already has that. Man. It's gone. It I was think, like here at the start. I which think it's it, like but, here which now. it always, it will, and always will hype for something new. They just need to hit that, that thing where they stop and they start doing this one. And they just want to stick there for the next couple of years and they'll be stoked completely random divergent point that after I brought up the fact that we're wrapping up this podcast I've now come up with <laughs> um, do you reckon that the Konami affiliated YouTube channels will not be able to stream Master uh, to stream Dueling Book and have to stream Master Duel yeah of course do you reckon Absolutely. Konami does do that behind Absolutely. closed doors and goes surely I, you're I, streaming I, you can't stream this Absolutely. if you're affiliated with us you have to stream this I've not noticed it yet, but also I haven't been looking into it that much. But I definitely could see that being it's a brand. Thing. It's brand perception. You would never, you would never allow it. Like, yeah. you just can't because legally as well, it would be a, it would be a nightmare. Oh. Yeah, you can't really serve cease and desists around when, when you're, you're um, affiliated, affiliated yeah. giving product to these YouTubers who are just using the master door. That could honestly be the reason why we don't see a lot of certain YouTubers that typically stream a lot. Yeah, getting that product, like Farfa is probably the exception to the rule. Yeah, Farfa's yes. in a weird spot. Um, like he's been doing a lot more Master Duel content, um, at least for YouTube stuff. I haven't really seen much of his streams lately to see if he is doing um, Dueling Book yeah. as well. So he is technically an employee of S. 
He, but yeah. he, they, he has been kept at arm's reach a little bit sometimes, where like, occasionally they go. It's probably when he starts messaging me like, "When's the ban list?" Yeah. Any content? But it's like... it's like for a long time they were like, "No, no, no, not you." Like, it was it was so many other YouTubers before him, and then they were like, "Oh, okay, you're a bit like they, he was too shit talky. He was too like." adult meme for them and now I think they've gotten to the point where they're like yeah look you have all the viewers let's like try and make you happy I don't think it's a like a lovely fucking I they're like stoked about it quite mad that YouTube channels spoil when we get products sent to them that's that. fair bro it's fair but you can't punch don't down. be Australian I punch down I brought this up at locals the other night I find it really frustrating that they can send product to YouTubers early for their promotion, but they couldn't possibly do that for the regions that are selling the product. Pokemon does it. I'm just saying, oh. Unlisted Leaf gets shit like, who's a Melbourne boy, gets shit. He, he opened up a box Astral Radiant like two days ago. So, um, to Jake's point, Big up. this is going to be a discussion on the podcast, uh, but sneak peek, I guess, all this comes out later, uh, we're not getting the next set for release. For a, a while. Yeah. We're not, we're not getting it. Again, yeah, more shit. Two major products in a row that we will not be receiving in Australia for release date. That will conclude the podcast for tonight. Uh, make sure you, on their relevant socials, you leave feedback on Masterdoor. They have Masterdoor accounts and stuff. They have they... a quiz that they, they yeah. send out. But yeah, if, there's but surveys you, all the time. But don't let their surveys be the only data point. Make your voice heard. Go on our socials. Don't be a dickhead because they'll just exclude you. But say, if you want relevant for, if you like any of the stuff we have said, just leave it. If enough people say it, again, they have been really good about it. Just be vocal about it. Um, and then that way, hopefully, again, there was a long time when, like, there was just. Let's not look recently. There was a lot of events not being streamed. And enough people had said enough stuff where they really started to hammer down on, like, okay. We send people here. We send people... Oh, Sydney has had a thousand people fucking five years in a row. Okay, we send. Like, sure. That's not um, no more. It, yeah. It had to be full. But, again, people just need to be loud enough and we're good. Cool. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you do have any questions similar to this, there will be a link for our Discord in the description. Feel free to jump in, say hi, cool bunch of lads, ask us questions, have a chat. Um, otherwise, we will see you on the next one. Peace.